Hello guys, this is our from Open Source channel. Welcome again to a new episode of Now To. Today we're going to talk about Flat Note and I'm going to show you how to install it on Docker. Before we give a start guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. Alright, so we are on the GitHub page where you can find all the information to get started. There are two different types of installation. We're going to use the easy one today, the docker run command. So we're going to use a terminal and we're going to copy and paste. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the actual code, paste in my text file, make all the modification I want, then copy it again and paste it in the terminal. The other way is using docker compose. But again, I'm going to use the run command and that's the way I'm going to do it. All right, so I already copied. I'm going to paste in my text file. I'm going to make the changes that I need to. For example, the password, the username, and many other things. Now, if I type ID, you can see here my ID is 1000. So I don't have to change the PUID and the GUID. I'm going to leave it as it is. Make sure you know your ID before you can even start it. For the port, I'm going to change it to 8011, as 8080 is already being used by another container. So now the next thing, I'm going to change the password. Again, guys, make sure your password is strong. For this demonstration, I'm going to use my password. Again, in a few minutes, I'm going to show well, in a few seconds, I'm going to show you how to generate a strong password. I'm going to change the username to admin. Again, try to use something different than admin. Or perhaps you can use your name if you wanted to. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to search uh, search for strong password or generate strong password. I'm going to click on the first link. It doesn't really matter. And here you can generate password. All you're going to do is just generate a new one if you want to. And when you're happy with it, just copy and paste. You can change the length as well if you wanted to. All right. There are many ways to do it. Now, let's go back to the text file where I'm going to let's change the secret key make sure again guys you choose something strong let me generate something strong here and let me copy and then what I do I'm going to just change uh, or remove some of the characters there we go uh, so I'm going to change this one to a long string of key this is a secret make sure nobody knows this I'm going to modify and change as you can see here uh, removing some of the, the symbols anyway I want to make sure it is compatible. Sometimes you might have problems with symbols. I'm going to leave the data as it is there. It's up to you. You want to change it. Make sure you you already, already got the actual um, folder with data there. So that's why I'm leaving it. But make sure you got something available for you for this installation. Once you're happy with that, all you got to do is copy and paste. So I'm going to copy. I'm going back to back to the terminal and I'm going to paste it. Now, I made a mistake here, as you will see, I'm, you know, I'm going to do it later on. I forgot to put sudo. So, once I press enter, I'll get access denied. All right. As you can see, permission denied. So, all I'm going to do, again, uh, I'm going back there, change, add sudo, and then paste the lines again. And then press enter. And everything should be fine. The installation should really take more than a few minutes. Right, one installation is done. I'm using Portainer here just to have a look that everything is being installed comp uh, properly. And as you can see, that we already got the one appearing. Actually, no, it's not appearing yet. That was the 8080 ports that was tell told you earlier on. That's the reason why I changed to 811. And as you can see now, we got installation that has appeared and is running. All right, so things now, I'm going to click on the link so I don't have to type it. And it should open and ask me for the username and password. In my case, it's going to be admin. And my password, again, if you forgot, just go to the text file and copy. My password is for my case. For you, it will be something as strong as I showed you earlier on. So once you're happy, you can remember me if you want to and log in. And as you can see, it's quite simple installation, quite simple app, but I use a lot of time to record all my notes because it's very simple, simple to use, no many functions and a powerful search. There's many ways to do it, many ways to attach and 
copy and paste content as I'm going to show you now. All you do is just type the title and type the description or anything you want. In this case, I'm going to copy this for you. There's two ways to do it. I'm going to show you both ways. No, I can't pronounce the type of editor. I think it's pronounced Weezer or something. But if you do it like this, as you can see, it comes as just text. But if you do it with Weezer or whatever is pronounced, again, guys, sorry for that. I don't know how to pronounce it. It comes with all the links and everything. It comes formatted. So what you do is exactly that. And this is what I'm always going to use anyway. Once you're happy, you make sure you save it. And when you go to the search, you can see it comes only one as it is now and the N. The, as I said, guys, the actual search is pretty powerful and it's easy to use. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to install Flatnote, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time.